As the water warms and spring turns to summer, a wave of fish activity begins. The centrarchids, the sunfish, bass, and crappie begin to become more active in spawn. Males will dig pits in the sediment, such as this bluegill, or clear stages of gravel of pebbles and silt like this long ear. Some species, such as this warmouth, will even spawn in the vegetated shallows of lakes. Sunfish will often nest communally, but spaced evenly out as each male will vigorously defend its own nest. In some cases, nests can be so abundant that they dot the substrate like dimples on a golf ball. From his nest, each male will attempt to convince a female that he is worthy. This male long-ear sunfish has succeeded in attracting a female. He shepherds her into his nest with his body, attempting to convince her to lay eggs. Once successful, the female deposits eggs on the substrate while the male fertilizes. This happens several times until the male ultimately chases her from the nest. fans his fins and tail over the eggs to ensure that they are well aerated and free of silt, and begins his job guarding the eggs, which he will do until they hatch. Guarding eggs is a very energy costly but important job. This male rock bass turns his body every so often, keeping a watchful eye for threats to his offspring from all directions. When one appears, he chases them off. Here, an old bluegill nest has been abandoned, and this young smallmouth bass has taken notice. He picks the eggs out of the substrate, a good source of food for the young fish. It is unclear why this bluegill nest is not guarded, but the offspring are paying the price. It is a rough and harsh world for the young fish, but enough of them do survive to carry on the species and begin the cycle of spawning again. Stay tuned for more videos on underwater ecosystems.